Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Do you have some playing cards you might like to alter into these cute little journal cards or pockets or tucks? I saw an idea like this on Pinterest. I think the person's name was Victorian Scrap, Scrap Addict. I'm not, I'm not, I'll, I'll double check on that. Uh, but I thought it was a really cool idea. And I just looked at what she made. Um, and I thought, well, let me, let me see if I can make something along those lines. I'm not quite sure I use the same process, but um, here you go. And I'll show you some al alternatives if you, if you don't have playing cards. Um, okay, so it's a very simple concept. Um, all right, let me, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, here's the prototype. Uh, and I cut, and this is the uh, side of the card that has the the four and the spades and things like that on it. And this is the back of the card. It was just a pretty little image on the back of this card. Um, so I left that just to honor it, and I'll show you the tools and any little tips and tricks along the way. Very fun to make. So if you're so inclined, grab a playing card or something along the lines of a playing card. For example, if you don't have playing cards, you can also um, use any kind of card form. Um, somebody sent me these amazing, beautiful illustrated. Um, I don't know whether they're, what, the, what are, what, what, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, but they're really cool. Some type of maybe a game card or playing card. Here are some, um, these are herb cards. Okay. Oh, oh, do I, I have stickles on my finger. Okay. It happens. Here's some, um, uh, bug cards. Well, you never know what you got. I mean, just I'm looking for the card, the stiffness. You can also use um, cardstock. Here's a recipe card. If you have those, if you see those in the thrift shop, grab them. Oh, so I'm going to remove that. Um, I think it's coming off. I, I think it will come off. I'll just, I'll, I'll work on it. Um, okay, so let's make one of these babies. All right, uh, here's a card. And I think what she did was she took tissue paper and maybe dyed it and, um, adhered it to the face, but I'm going to, I have this tracing paper and it's already tea dyed. If yours is not already tea dyed, it doesn't matter because you can get the same look with um, your dauber from your ink, which I have strategically placed close by. So this is my brown ink dauber and I did some coloring on there. So, okay, easy process. Put the card down. I'm gonna use this as the side I'm going to decorate. I'm gonna use Scotch Create glue stick. Um, I'm pretty sure any glue stick will work in this case. Oh, Pam, you need to put the lid on it. If you put the lid on it, probably work even better. Okay, go, go off like this to the corners. That's how you get your corners done because you want to have complete coverage. And you get glue all over your fingers because that's just the way of the world in the craft biz world. Um, take a bigger piece than you need and put it down over it and then scrunch together to get some wrinkles. This is where we want wrinkles. These wrinkles are good. Everybody needs a good wrinkle every now and then, and this is that. Okay, so there we go. All right, we have our little base. Now I'm gonna take our old friend sanding block or sanding sponge, whatever you like to call it. It's a sanding thing, you can just use sandpaper. You can just go around and trim this off with scissors, it's fine, but this gives you a nice flush edge, and um, it's pretty easy. Um, just kinda. Get the rougher side. I think that works better. There's usually, well, I mean, some of these have different sides. Some of them are all the same. Sandpaper grit thickness. But they, it just starts coming off. All right. That came off. Any little stragglers we need to know about? If you get little stragglers, you just kind of go and you sand those puppies off. All right. So we have that. Where's our little dauber? Get a little closer for you so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to take me dauber, and it is probably loaded with vintage photo um, ink or um, walnut sting ink, as I've been using it over the years, but this is vintage photo distress ink. Okay, and I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to lightly go over the top to pick up the, the peaks of these little mountainous peaks, so I'm getting some different colorations on here. So this is going to bring in an extra, you can do this in any color as well. I just wanted to go for the antique vintage sort of look feel. And, um, and you can be totally done at this point because that's just kind of cool the way it is. And, uh, or we can embellish it up a little bit. And there's some easy ways to embellish this. It's a nice uh, thickness to work with when you're trying to make something for a pocket or a tuck or a card. Maybe we'll do a pocket out of this one. All right, so I'm going to back up a little bit. All right, now I'm going to take, today I'm going to use, this is called the, what is this called? 
This is called the Cropodile. This is like, I guess you would call the Cropodile One. And, oh, let me show you just in case you haven't seen it. This is the Cropodile Two, Big Bite. Okay, Cropodile, not Crocodile. Cropodile, C-R-O-P, P as in Peter. Okay, um, they both do the same things. They um, set eyelets and they also, depending on where you have the little puncher, it punches holes. So you don't need a, a big, butt, big bite for this one. So we're going to use, I guess, a little bite. And we're just going to easily punch some holes. It has a big side and a little side. So kind of see there. There's the puncher right there. But if I, if I, th they work at the same time. If I did this one, bigger. This one, smaller. I want the smaller hole. And that is, I don't have my glasses on. Um... Well, okay, this one's the bigger one. Yeah, and that one's the smaller one. I know there's a, probably a number on here. It's like one eighth probably. Okay, let's go with that. I think it's one eighth. Where's the number? I don't know, but I think it's one eighth. Okay, so we're just gonna randomly go around and punch some holes. I don't use any predetermined width. I just kind of missed that hole completely. If you did, just go back and punch another hole and keep going like it never happened because the, the randomness of the holes I think is part of the character. Um, of this piece. It doesn't have to be perfect. It, oh, okay, apparently you, you got to put the hole at least fully on the thing, Pam. Okay. it has The hole has to be on the card. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. So now we have this and that kind of looks cool just like it is. I mean, you could just leave it like that. You could accent those holes. Um, All right. So what did I do? Okay. I had some what is this? This is, da, 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 da. I had a pile of it here. Oh yeah. This is like, I don't know. I want to say raffia or plastic raffia or something. I don't know. It's like this. This is what it is. I think it's plastic raffia. It's like fake raffia or something. It doesn't feel plant. It, it feels more like plastic than plant. How about that? I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way around with this one, but we'll try. Okay. Holding a little tail. Okay. I know. I know. I wait down like hand sewing. I know this isn't like Easiest hand sewing in the world. It's not even hand sewing. I mean, this is like threading something. This is no big deal. You can totally do this. It takes two seconds. You're, yes, you have to go get the needle or else you'll drive your crazy self crazy trying to get the holes. But as we go along, you'll see how quickly it comes together. It's painless. It's actually kind of fun. You get to feel like a hand seamstress at the moment back in Victorian times, sitting around on your cute little Victorian couch and your drawing room you know maybe you weren't a needlepoint expert but hey you can do this and it's going to come out really cool and you're going to be happy you did now you could use more of a contrasting color you could also i don't think you'd dye this plastic one but if you have um you know you could use seam binding instead if, if i recommend if you're going to get seam binding instead of buying a billion colors buy one a cup one big neutral one and then you can dye it different colors with food color or distress inks or whatever pigment you have you can even use makeup on them um to give yourself some different shades otherwise you're gonna have like drawers full of it Oop! oh i just made it look at that just made it now i can't get that in there how do i do that i gotta put it back on back on the little are we recording oh yeah back on the little thingy pam back on the little thingy okay and we're we're through we're through okay so now what am i gonna do with that i'm going to do something fancy like tie it off now the other one which is where Nobody knows. No, it's gone. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, now. Okay. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Oh, now I have two. This is good. I can, I can tie a little, I can tie a little knot here. Perfect. Yes. Yes. I can tie a little knot. Fingernails and all. Okay. I could probably tie a bow if I had longer strings, but it's going to be a knot on this one because that's just the way it goes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There. All right, now, okay, yeah, here, here is the prototype. Okay, so what I did with this one next, after I inked it all up really well, like to the point where it was, felt like it was done, and go along and just ink it a little more, maybe on the corners, give it a little more emphasis. I like all the little weird stringy things that hang off. I think it's kind of endearing. Yeah, I like that, okay. So next, what I did was I took a sticker. I know I don't use stickers all that much, but I am going to use a sticker here just because I think it's going to look cool. 
So what is this? This is Celebrate Life. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we could just put that across there. It's not the right look I want. I want something more. These are like weird word ones. Do I, I, These must be coming from a different country because... Do not withered, undefeated, fiery demon rule heart rate and breathing to bear the load of cumbersome board. <laughs> what on earth does that mean? That's a weird one. Okay, let's go get a normal sticker. Um, so that's one with words, as you can see. Ooh, that's cool. Um, all right, I'm in my sticker. I'm in my sticker drawer. It's not a drawer, it's a box. Okay. I got some stickers. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, that would yeah, that's really pretty. Or, oh, yeah. I like the idea of translucence or see-through. I think that yeah, this is cool. I don't like that. Um, let me see if we have a nice translucent one. You're kind of translucent. Mushrooms look cool. Can't pick anything up today. Oh, that's pretty. A nice, pretty translucent flower. Oh, sometimes it's fun just to decide. There's a rose. Okay, maybe a little bland. There's a, like, funky butterfly. Um... What else we got here? Okay. No. It's got to be the right one. You know, you have to try them on for set. Oh, I like that. That I like. Okay, this is a translucent. Is it translucent? I think so. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a sticker that looks kind of see-through. That's what it is. Yep, here we go. And we're going to pull it apart. Oh, boy. Oh, Nelly. Oh, come on apart in one piece. Okay. Now, we're going to run it over the glue stick just in case it needs more... More glue. Okay. And gingerly with the thumb. Thumb technique. Sliding of ah! sliding of the thumbs. Don't pull too hard. Don't tear. Tears, just glue it on anyway. Um, okay. Um <laughs> I was thinking like the three second rule in the kitchen. Not on the floor? Okay, not that dirty. Keep going. <laughs> Pick it back up. Okay. Is there a twist here? I'm feeling like there's a twist. Yes, you have twisted yourself, unbeknownst to the rest of us. Okay, you no, know, you need to, what are you doing? We need to have a word. No, you can't, you, no, no. I know you've been extra, I don't, yeah, I don't want to hear it. I think you need to go back where you came from. There you go. Okay, now we're all good. And the glue is drying, and the glue is drying, but she's going to get it on there. Just stick it down, Pam. Okay, we got it. Hand iron. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Oh, that's that's really pretty already. I mean, you could just totally be down there. Isn't that pretty? That's just so pretty. Um, um, num, num, num. Uh, maybe we want to, I, oh, I'm closer, closer. Maybe we want to outline it in, what is this, Pam? This is, oh, hello, little wren on the window. Um, aquarelle, can you read that? Aquarelle Stabilo 8046. It's a water-soluble, dissolvable pencil. I think they come in three packs, but... Maybe you can get them individually in the stores, but these are cool. If you've never played with this. Okay, so I'm on tracing paper. This this sticker is sort of waxy, so it probably won't work on the sticker itself, but maybe I can get a, a an emphasized shape. Somebody told me or somebody mentioned they have brown ones too I, of these. I, I I don't know if I have those yet or somebody gave them to me. Maybe they did. I got I to go look. I'm lazy, lazy crafter. Okay. There. Now, get a Q-tip. In the old Q-tip drawer, get a little squirt bottle. Use your hand as a cup. Okay, there we go. Squirt bottle. Hand as a cup. Oh, okay. Okay. In there. Good. Like that. Okay. And then you go around relatively. you got to get moving. Don't, don't sit there and snooze. Just go around because you can always come back and add more. Just go around, and that's going to give you a nice blossom of, uh, yeah, okay, this, you just wipe on your shorts. Okay, now we have that. Now we have an um, amplified, accented focal point, unlike any other. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Now, you can do more if you want to do more. If you want to come in and bring the big guns in. And the big guns are... Bling. Stickles. Rhinestones. Other words. Number. Oh, maybe a number. Oh, wait. We haven't done number yet. Let's get a number. Okay, I have this little 
I need to back up. Little drawer full of number stamps. What else? There's a number maybe right in the corner there. How about a three? What's wrong with a good old three? I think I'll use black. This is black soot. Got my three. Rubbing. And I'm stamping over here. Now the card is not a three. So I'm putting a card. Oh, there we go. There, that's kind of cool, right? Maybe I should put a three in the other corner. Maybe. No, no, no. I think it's too much. Just let it be, Pam. Let it be. Okay. Now you could do more. You could come along and do more stickles or things like that. But I kind of like just the way that one is very simple. And here's the other one. Let me back up just a little bit. So Nothing's working. Okay. There we go. So you can see these two. Kind of along neutral themes. So you can use them any way you like in your artwork. Okay. Why is there water everywhere? Did I really? I did. I sprayed it everywhere. Look, what a mess. Who hired this woman? I think cut her pay in half. She's a, she's a, she's a slob. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, here's the journal I'm working on. Oh, back up, please, Pam. Okay. This is the journal, the scrappy. Did I tell you about the special? I didn't tell you about the special. If you don't know about the special, during February, fundle special, triple bonus special, February 2023, buy a fundle. You automatically get a Victorian trade card, a Victorian calling card, and a beautiful Gothic textbook page from 1798, which is 225 years old. You don't need a code or a coupon. There you go. That's it. Going on right now. Grab them while I got them. Okay. Fabric cover journal. Let's find some nice places for these. I think they're going to make really pretty, really pretty uh, pockets. I mean, I could leave them. I, you could just clip them onto a page too. Say, oh, that looks so nice there. Does that look? Okay, I'm going to make a, a corner, a corner pocket out of this baby. I'm going to grab the, uh, my Fabrifix clear silicone glue. Let me glue this on the right side. Here I go. Here I go. Okay, going, 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 going. Kind of loose. What is this? Is this attached? Yeah, it's attached. So we just leave it because I like the stringies. You can trim the stringies if you don't like them. Okay, now I can put that down and use that as a little corner pocket. Isn't that cute? Oh, God, yeah. That is just so cute. All right, so we have another one. Maybe I'll put it in number three for balance. Oh, you're pretty. No. Maybe we could do a side tuck. Yeah, maybe let's do that. I'm just going to glue down the one side. Saves on glue. And also it allows you the freedom to put just about anything of any size in here. And it's a good idea to let these pups dry before you stick stuff in or else your stuff will get stuck. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. I just love that. Okay, just let that be. Okay, good. Glue all over the place, right? Way to go, Pam. Okay, so we'll just close you and put you over there. And I think we have time to make another one. Let's use one of these other things. All right, let's see if we can transform this gorgeousness of this beetle. I mean, that's 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 pretty darn sexy, isn't it? Like, everybody wants a face full of that in the morning. Okay. Um, okay, same process. Glue stick. Glue all over. Get glue on self and on your table. Okay, going back and forth, making sure, okay, going to the corners, get my corners, get my corners, and then run around, get it on my table and on my fingers. And then it's, I know it's a good day. Okay, get any leftover... You can use parchment paper, tracing paper, tissue paper, big piece bigger than your item so that you can squish it. Okay, and it's squishing. Random squishing is best. Yeah, it doesn't have to follow. There's no bad squishing. Just squish it. Yeah. Hand iron. Flatten everything down. Okay. And, these, and you can mass make these, which is, I think, a really good idea because then you have a bunch at the ready. Okay. Sanding with our old friend. And just use your finger to hold the edge of the card. That way you can go around. Otherwise, you're going to bend your card. So. The back and forth is very good. Am I on the rough side? Get on the rough side, Pam. It just happens faster if you're on the rough side. And it also roughens up the little edge of the card so that you can um, do stuff to the edge of the card, like ink it, and it will pick up more ink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is fun. This is very fun. Oh, I didn't do it, so you could do that. That yeah, that's good. These are all off. Just see where it's still attached. Don't tear it because it'll tear into your page, like on top. Yeah, so resist. Resist and 
sand instead. It just it, it does it a bit better. You could use maybe an emery board too, but I think this thing is faster than an emery board. You'd be there forever with an emery board doing that, but you can do it. It's okay. It can be done. Um, use what you got. All right. Maybe this one we'll do in black. Okay. I just, yeah, let's do it in black. Oh, here's the black. Black soot. And let me get my black dauber, which is da 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 da. How to make your own homemade black dauber. Compliments of Jessica Rapp idea. Brilliant. Brilliance in action. Okay. Um, here we go. Just going all over the top with some black lightly. So making it like a grayish thing. Yeah, knocking it down. What bugs, right? What bugs? There's no creepy, yucky bugs here. Okay, let me go around and ink this on the edges so it's like a dark smoky mysterious card from another time another place yeah there we go all right do I want to put some brown in there maybe balance it out a bit where'd the brown go oh come on you can't okay there we go <laughs> vintage photo Get some brown dauber and I'm just going to go around the edges a little bit to make that Look a little more old worldly and you can go all across the front too, but I don't think I'm going to on this one. I think I'm just going to keep that on the edges, just a little here, a little there. You can do some green and other things. I mean, that might look cool. Let's see what we got. All right, here's a green. Oh, I don't know where a green dauber is. Okay. This is what? Peeled paint. Okay. Oh, so I tie a little like piece of embroidery thread onto these so I know what color they are because I always, always intermingle the colors. Now this I'll just do like random touches here and there. This will give it a, uh, just a little splash of like mold and fungus on there. There you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we have our base. Oh, what's that? I could get that whole butterfly on there. That would be really cool. We're too far away. I could get that whole butterfly on there. That would be kind of cool. Let's try that. Maybe at the top, coming down. No, oh, you fit. You seem to fit nice right there. Let's put you on there and let's glue you a bit. Extra, extra. It's a translucent, translucent. And now we will put extra glue, just maybe on the edges, just a little bit, just get it down. You know what I mean? We don't want to be fighting. We don't want it popping off. Okay. Maybe in the middle. In the middle? I don't know. Maybe there. How about three quarters? There's something about the two thirds, three quarters mark, which is very powerful and with pictures and things like that. So now we have this. That's right. That's what we have. I forgot to put the holes in. Um, let's put the holes in. Here's a little gizmo. Going to use a small one. Um, one. Two. I'll do these farther apart. I don't know. I just want to see what the look looks like because I don't know what it's going to look like. I'm going to focus on getting the hole actually on the card, which is a big step for this girl. Okay, here we go. On the card, on the card. And coming around the mountain, going home stretch here. Okay, we got our holes. Uh, I think I got them all on the card. And I'm gonna try a different color this time. Um, oh, I've got this lavender color. Ooh, that might be cool. Something very unexpected, right? Weren't expecting that. Well, it's on the desk, so guess what? We're using it. So you're gonna be able to see what using seam binding looks like. This is just a small thing of seam binding. You can get it like this. A lot of thrift stores carry that stuff. I'm sure they have it in Joann's and stuff. But you can also buy big round things of it on like this, like these things on yeah, line, seam binding roll. And that lasts forever and a day, which is awesome. Okay, let me get enough of this out of here. I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'll just get the whole thing up there. All right, and we're starting. Now, what do I want? Okay, maybe I want to end up here. So I'll, I'll in case I want to do a bow or something. Let's see. Okay, it does go through. Let's sew it backwards this time. Okay, she's sewing backwards. Why? I don't know. Oh, no, that's not going to work. I need to pull enough through. You just, you just get in there and pull more of that through. You need to go all the way to the end because you don't know what you're doing or how much this is going to take. Right. Okay. Get more. More. And you could tie it. Like, let's say you didn't put enough in. You could painstakingly undo it all and get a longer piece. Or you could just connect it with glue or tying it on or something like that for any, you know, I don't call us lazy crafters. We're just inventive and creative, right? Yeah. Yeah. Find, find workarounds. These are the workarounds of the crafty life. We love that. Um, 
Okay, here we go. I think a brown would look nice too. I just didn't happen to have a brown handy at the moment. I'm sure I do in there somewhere, but I'd have had to go ferreting. Yeah, shopping in my own stuff. Goodness gracious, that might take a minute. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, sometimes when things are just available at your fingertips, it's what you use the most. That's the way it goes in crafting. Um, and you can do a million things with what's close to you. Oh my gosh. Just open your mind and let your little imagination go. And it will be gone. It'll leave the house and you'll never find it again because, no, it'll, it'll be there with you always. It's like attached by the secret silver umbilical cord. Yes, you can let it fly and it always comes home. It's like a homing pigeon. Yeah, it'll be back in your hands and in your brain. And you'll be like, oh, thank God, I thought you left me. Um, nope, it's okay. Everything's good. Uh, okay, coming around, coming around. I want to show you the double bunny ear tip trick. I hope it works. Okay, we're going to try this. See if it works. If I end up with one string at the end, that's my goal. And I want to show you the way, out, how to get a bow with one string. Okay, going in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go in there. All right. See, I still have the beetle story on the back. So if anybody really wants to learn about the beetle, it's here. I would not take the beetle from anybody. No. <laughs> okay, let's see if we end up with one. Oop, what's that? I'm getting tied up here. Okay. All right, well, that's, that's two strings. No, I guess, I guess that's okay. I don't know why I have two strings. I, didn't, I only had one string on the last one. I'm going to show you the one string technique, even though I have two strings. Okay. So let's say you buried this already in here because you're like really good at sewing or something and you, you knew to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and tie in this baby off by itself. Okay, nope. Okay, I'm gonna try tying this baby off by itself so I don't have the extra string because I wanna show you. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's, let's just do that. Okay, I don't have this anymore, it's gone. So that's what I have. I'm like, oh, I would really like a little bow up here. So this is what I did. This is not rocket science. It's just, okay. Clear the deck. One bunny loop, two bunny loops, bunny ears. I call them bunny ears. And then tie them together. Like you tie your shoelaces. Remember the bunny, the bunny ear trick? Which I think is a very valuable way. I don't know why we have to do that other one. This one is perfectly fine. Nobody needs to learn that other one. You got the other bunny ear. Pull it. Pull tight. Okay, now bunny might look a little weird initially. Okay, but you can you see this bunny ear got long, so you just kind of straighten it out so it's it's what it, what it should be. And you and you can even tie another knot if you're like unsure in life. And I want you to be sure. Um, so grab separate. Oh, I almost had it. Where's that other bunny ear? I'll do it again. Okay, bunny ears now are making the knot. I'm sure you could go left over right, right over left, but, you know, that ship has sailed on this project. Um, okay, so we have a little bow at the top. Now, we don't need all this. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we got our bow at the top, and that's kind of pretty. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. Okay, so, hmm, am I gonna? Oh, maybe I will. Oh, wait, time. Oh, we're, we're getting short on time, so maybe I'm just going to leave this one like that. And I'll put it in here so you can see what it looks like. Oh, no, it's pretty. Ooh, oh, I could make a belly band out of this. That would be really cool. All right, this is a bigger card. Let's do that. I, oh, you won't be able to read Beetle. Sorry. Sorry, Beetle's gone. That's okay. But you could just clip it or tuck it into another pocket, but I like the idea of a, a belly band out of this. This is pretty. Okay. And there we go. And that means now that when that's dry, you can slip something. What is this? Like really cool underneath there and then it'll hold it. So there you go. Pretty, huh? Okay. So I think we need to hear from Mr. Snuffers. Hold on. Okay. Here. Uh, Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. Are you going to give us a pup date or a public service announcement? Um, Ronnie just came home. Oh, oh, we're distracted, are we? Are, by the neighbor's dog? Yes. Okay, so did you make a decision? I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be a pup, play, a pup date. Okay, okay, so you give us a pup date. All right. Okay, so, um, 
don't tell anybody. And it's a little embarrassing. And it happened last night to me in, in bed. Mm-hmm. Where do you sleep? Right beside Mom. Okay, and what happened? Um, okay. Um, like I, I must have eaten something funny yesterday. Were you bugging Mom for her, for her food? Well, yes, of course. That's what, that's what I do. That's, that's my food first, and Mom is the carrier of the food to me. <laughs> okay. Did you maybe have a little more than you should have? Yes. Okay. Did you wear Mom down? Yes. Okay. And what did this result in? A 3 a.m. puke. Oh, really? Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I woke up. Well, actually, Mom woke up to hearing the arrival of it right beside her. Lovely, huh? Yeah. No, I, I, I'm going to stretch or yawn or do something right now. I did. But let me do it, Mom. Don't, don't hold me back. I got to do it. Okay. Um, and did you clean it up? Um, I'm, I'm busy right now. I, I can't seem to... Oh, I think I did it. I didn't get much sleep last night. I think I need to go back to bed. Are you feeling fine this morning? Yeah, everything's fine now. You know, sometimes pukes happen. <laughs> okay, I know they do. All right, well, maybe that's a little too much information for the audience. What? You wanted a pup date. <laughs> I know, it, it, it is It is our life. I know, I get that. Um, hmm, I'm a little embarrassed. Don't, it's okay. Everybody gets an upset tummy every once in a while. I know, but maybe, maybe this is oversharing. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's, I think they'll forgive you. Yeah, you think they will? Yeah, okay. All right, so you wish them well. Okay, everybody, I hope you're well. I hope you sleep well tonight. And no stomach issues for anybody. Um, love y'all. Happy crafting. <laughs> Signing out. Sunshine. <laughs> okay. Well, you look like you're half asleep again. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's what mom got to deal with. Um, that was fun. So don't forget about the special. And what else? Um, if you are new to the channel, thank you very much for coming by. If you've been here, thank you much for being here. Oh, I see some uh, uh, Canadian geese walking across the driveway next door. Okay. So... Uh, I, I have a free monthly email newsletter. Sign up for that and you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a page list of ideas. They're all in the freebie section at the bottom of the newsletter and it's attached to every newsletter. And um, it also has junk journal tips, updates from the paper outpost, and also peeks at new digi kits. And um, what else is going on? I have a, uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts are um, discuss paper crafting, life of a crafter, answering your crafty questions, and junk journaling. Um, that new material comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I have video podcasts that are up, go up going. They're going up every day, so check those out on Spotify. Um, I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find journals and bundles and kits when I have them available for sale. Like right now, I have the the February bundle bon triple bonus. Um, uh, oh, I sell DigiKits, which are printable downloads. There's five pages each and multiple pictures on each page um, themed so that you can use them in your junk journals for journal cards, journal pockets, journal tucks, journal belly bands, front cover art, whatever you like. And um, I also sell funder, fundals, which are collections of old and interesting paper like antique ledger and checks and receipts and postcards and old black and white photos and just anything really cool that I can find that I, I really want to share with you guys. 100 plus pieces, free priority mail, uh, ship, free priority mail shipping is included with those. And I also have a print and mail service for the digi kits. Those are the printables. If you don't have a printer or you don't like to print, I will print them out for you on nice lightweight cardstock that will get you um, 10 digi kits or 50 printed pages. And all I need from you is to buy the print and mail option and then send me your list of digi kit names, which is um, I only need the first two or three words to, so I know exactly which kit you're talking about. Um, and if you make sure you're purchasing from my shop. If you're unsure if they're mine or not, just go to www.thepaperoutpost.com. And that is my Etsy shop with only my stuff. It's, um, it's a, a separate website, but it's all Etsy. And it's it's basically, I, I have that so that people don't get confused and um, buy, you know, they try and buy ones that are not mine or they, I've had people buy journals that they thought were mine and they're not. Um, so be careful, you, you should get from the right shop. 
Um, what else? Ooh, ah. Oh, um, yeah, just send me your list of 10 digit names. I only need the first two or three words, and you can send that to Etsy message or to my email, which is Pam at the paper outpost.com. I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. Oh, I was pulled out the gilding. I was going to play with that today. Forgot. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, favorite tools and supplies uh, in my Amazon shop. That does help my shop. That does help my channel. But it, you do not pay more for those items if you purchase them through there. And I have a merchandise shop or a t-shirt shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. You can get that on a t-shirt, a zip hoodie, a sweatshirt. A mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Great for gift giving or for yourself. Uh, uh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun doing weekly, monthly challenges over there. And remember, most of all, the fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care. Um, the special is for sale in my Etsy shop. Take care. Bye. <laughs>